So there has been a bunch of new information that has come out regarding the Boruto anime. Some of the information is true, some of the information is fake, and a bunch of people have been DMing me on Twitter asking me whether this is true or not. So in this video, I'll be breaking down most of the questions that I have received concerning the Boruto anime. As you can see already from the title of this video, we are begging the question of whether Boruto will be coming back in 2026, according to some of the information that is out there and some of the questions that you guys have asked me. So first of all, let's break down exactly when and where these rumors started to appear. And the rumors basically started to appear concerning the Boruto anime coming out when we had Shiraisha release some promotional teasers for the Boruto Tubu Vortex manga and the manga events that were not adapted in the anime because it started off with the omnipotence arc that we had in part 1 of Boruto and it ended with Boruto Tubu Vortex around the ending of the first volume. So what exactly and why exactly have we been given this teaser? Does this have to do with the anime? Why or why not? Everything will be discussed in this video. But starting off, this is the reason why and this is the moment where we started to get a lot of information about Boruto potentially coming back and things that are going on in regards to the Boruto anime. So, first of all, starting off with information that is true, we're going to start off with the good news that comes to the Boruto anime. And this is that we are already starting to see the formation of the Boruto animation team that will be dealing with the production of Boruto Part 1. And when I say Boruto Part 1, I mean all the events that were not adapted in Boruto Part 1, which means the Omnipotence arc, the arc that is an arc that everybody wants to see animated as fast as possible. We are starting to see the formation of that team, the formation of the team that will be taking on that role. And we've also seen that Shueisha has legally applied for Boruto to Blue Vortex name as an anime. This is something that is always done when we either have a new anime come out or a sequel to an anime was the same for Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. So this is pretty common. And I would say it is kind of early for us to be getting this already, especially with part one not being done. We usually see these sort of things happening after an anime or the prequel has ended and then the sequel is announced and following that we see them legally apply for the name of that anime in this case being Boruto to Vortex but this was done very early and it has caused a lot of people to believe that the anime is going to be coming back sooner which is why we already have Shueisha applying for the legal name. This is not exactly the case when it comes to Boruto, as this is the only true information that has come out regarding the anime. Boruto 2 Blue Vortex will be getting an anime, and we have the production team for the Boruto anime, which is starting to be formed. This is true information, but information about Boruto coming back in 2026, I'm just going to be real with you guys. I'm not going to lie and get you hyped for no reason, just don't believe it will happen. The simple fact is that Boruto will not be coming back in 2026. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm not going to sugarcoat it and give you possibilities, I just don't see it happening, all the information points to it happening, and let's just break it down. One of the main reasons and one of the main paths that the studio is taking is a path of quality over quantity. This is something that Studio Apparel was not doing in the past, but with the recent success of animes like Demon Slayer, Attack on Time, those seasonal animes that have focused on putting out quality content, we have seen a mass enjoyment of these studios, of these studios that do end up taking their time when it comes to the animes that are produced. MAPPA and Unfoldable, the studio that has to deal with Demon Slayer, those two studios have seen great success with focusing on quality and releasing seasonal animes series. This is something that Studio Pero has taken into account with their new movement and with Bleach that has come out, the Bleach Thousand War arc, we have seen them take this seasonal approach where once a year we have them focusing up on releasing one core of the Bleach anime. We have seen that up until now 
three cores have come out. And this has been the reason why animes like Black Clover and Boruto have not come out. They are focusing on Bleach at the current moment. Then other popular animes like Boruto will be coming back. So until Bleach is done, really don't expect any other anime, any other major anime or animes that you want to be good to come out. If Boruto does come out in 2026, like I already know that it will be a Code Arc 2.0. We're going to be very hyped and then we're going to get the product and we're going to wish that it came out a little later because of the scheduling. And that was the reason why the Boruto manga went on hiatus. So they won't be coming back to deal with those same issues. So what exactly should you guys really be expecting the Boruto anime to come back? And I'm going to be very honest with you and tell you when you should expect this. So Bleach is in core 3 of its anime. It is currently releasing as we speak. And I'm not the biggest Bleach fan to be 100% honest, so I'm not really keeping up with Bleach, but I do know that it is in its third core and it released early this October. Which means that the next core will either come out around the same time next year in 2025 or a little bit later if they take more time with their scheduling and the anime production, especially since it will be the last core. So either we'll get Bleach N in 2025 or early 2026. Which is then that we could have the studio now focus on the Boruto anime and focus on the creation of that product. Seasonal animes usually have a two year production schedule where for two years you will either get an announcement on the first year being completed of the production and we have expectations that are already made and the scheduling that is already figured out and then we end up getting an announcement of when the anime will come out which is usually one year after the trailer comes out or a couple months after the trailer comes out with the trailer that was released for the boruto manga a lot of people believed that it had to do with the anime potentially coming back but the anime trailers and the manga trailers are something completely different this is simply praise for the work that Tublu Vortex has been doing, especially across Japan, with a lot of people who are tuning in now that the timescape has come. It really doesn't have much to do with the anime. If you do pay attention, whenever we get anime trailers and whenever we get manga trailers, they look very different. One is done in a manga style, while the other is done in an anime style. However, sometimes that like we saw with the Kawaki arc, we do get trailers that have both manga style and anime style, but they make it quite clear that this has to do with a new arc coming out. But with this trailer that we got, it doesn't have anything to do with the anime. It was very manga focused and it was simply promotion for the Boruto manga for Boruto to Blue Vortex and really doesn't have much to do with the anime. So when it comes to Boruto, if we end up calculating all the dates, let's say for example Bleach comes out at the end of 2025 and it ends up finishing sometime in 2026. Then it would mean that the production for the Boruto anime would begin and it would be a two year production. So in 2026, we would hear nothing about the Boruto anime. Then in 2027, probably in Jump Vesta, we would end up hearing more information about the Boruto anime, saying how it is being worked on. That's in 2027. Then in 2028, we would see the Boruto anime come out. I'm not going to tell you a date. I don't know if it's going to be in the first, second, third or fourth quarter of that year, but in 2028, the date will be made clear of when exactly we could end up getting the board to anime that comes out. 2026 is way too early, especially with the fact that Bleach is only in its third core. If it was in its fourth, approaching its last, then I would have said, okay, maybe we could see with Boruto, but I really don't believe it's the case. Look, we still haven't gotten our four anime episodes for the Naruto anniversary that was scheduled about two years ago. So I'm really not expecting us to get anything crazy when it comes to Boruto anime anytime soon. I'm not saying that the anime would be bad. I'm just saying we're just going to be facing the same issues that we had in the code arc. And if you want a repeat of the code arc, then keep pushing for 2026. 
However, if you want better quality and seasonal production, then expect it to come out in 2028. 2028 for sure, I can promise you that by then we will know exactly when the anime will come out. 2027 is we have a good chance of getting maybe some information in Jump Festa, maybe they end up giving us a trailer, but 2028 just is the date that you know that you're either going to be watching Boruto or you'll know exactly when Boruto will be out. This is honestly perfect for the Boruto manga, it gives them an extra 3-4 to four years of continuing to cook up with what they have been doing and continuing to do their thing in the manga which will create a gap for the anime and the manga especially with it being seasonal. Let's say the anime comes back in 2028 and then they only adapt the omnipotence arc. It will take a little bit more time, maybe one or two years, and then they will start adapting the first arc of the Boruto time skip. By then, we would have moved on. We would probably be 30 chapters in, 30, 40 chapters into the Boruto anime, and that's going to give them the perfect amount of time to be able to cook up some actual good pacing for the anime. And we won't have to see those crazy anime canon episodes where you're watching Chocho do something crazy and eat a bag of chips for basically the entire episode. I'm I'm not watching that so it's best that the anime comes out in 2028 i know personally i wish the anime could come out today but do i want the anime to be bad or do i want the anime to be good and that's the simple reason why i believe it is good news that the anime will be coming back in 2027 or 2028 by 2027 we'll get a good gist of when it will come out but in 2028 we will get that correctly and there's been some crazy information too that has come out that I want to dispel. And that's the fact that the Boruto anime is going to be produced by a Chinese production. Those are early talks that we're seeing get around over there. Nothing has really been confirmed. The formation of the team is still underway. And don't expect to have a good gist of what that team will be exactly until 2025 or 2026 at least. In 2025, we will get those four anime episodes of the Naruto anniversary. By then, those people who are allocated to deal with Naruto will be free to now work on other projects, which means around 2025, we will get a good gist of who exactly is going to be working on the production of the next part of Boruto Part 1. But something that is quite interesting to discuss and a lot of people have brought to my attention is the fact that the anime could be a movie or not. Is this something that could actually end up happening and how would it change with the schematics of this idea when I'm telling you guys that the anime will probably come back in 2020? My prediction and my thoughts on that is that it is very well possible and it's especially due to the way that part 1 ended. The way that part 1 ended, it ended like yeah, it's the, it's the end of part 1. If you watched the anime and never knew anything about Boruto and its series, you would simply say okay this is the end of part 1 and we're probably going to go into the time skip. But that's not the case in the manga, but it made it appear so in the anime. So does that mean that we will not be getting another anime, but we will be getting a movie that has to deal with the omnipotence arc? This is something that I deem to be possible, and before I dive deep on how it would affect the timeline, I first want to talk about the first few things that we have to consider, and that's Sarada awakening her manga Kusharingan. Is she gonna get her third tome? We know in the anime that she doesn't. Or is she going to get the Kakashi and Obito treatment? The Kakashi and Obito treatment was them basically awakening the third tome at the same time of them awakening the manga Kusharingan. If you pay close attention, they had the two tome Sharingan, and then when they saw Rin die, it turned into the third and eventually turned further into the Mangeku Sharingan at the time. This is something that we could end up seeing with Sarda if the anime does go down that path and it would mean that the movie would simply have to do with the omnipotence arc. But if they don't go down that path, they would have to add a little bit more ad anime canon into the movie for them to settle Sarda awakening her Mangeku Sharingan which would also be quite interesting in my personal opinion. But when it comes to the dates, to be 100% honest, it really doesn't change too much. And it's also just because of when Bleach is ending, but Bleach seems to be ending around this time in 2025, or maybe they will reach 20, early 2026. So when it does end, we will get the production of the movie, if it is to be a movie instead of a seasonal production, we will get the production of the movie starting to be made. 
and around 2027 we will get an announcement of that movie and if the movie is to come out then it would mean that it would come out early 2028 and if the seasonal production comes out you could still expect it to come later down the year you really don't know when to expect it in 2028 but if it is a movie instead of a seasonal production then it is most likely to come out early 2028 and that would be very interesting to see however this is just a prediction what i want you guys to take away from this video is not to expect the boruto anime to come back in 2026 expect it around 2028 around 2027 is when you can expect the board to animate to release some sort of information about what is going to be happening regarding the anime or it potentially even being a movie that's when you should expect anything 2026 and below please do not expect anything just be content with those four anime episodes so that's basically the gist of all the information that is coming out. If you guys have more questions, do let me know in the comment section below. But the information we do have is that the board to anime will be focusing on quality over quantity. And to find out more about what that means, watch this video right here.